right guys, a little more informal and short and sweet with this one. Just wanted to make a quick video reminding everyone that I bonds or Series I savings bonds are currently paying a composite rate of 9.62% as of May 1st, 2022. Uh, I did make a separate video that I'll link to that went really in depth on what I bonds are, how they work, uh, why you might want them, etc. But as a quick recap to cover kind of most of the important highlights, uh, I bonds are treasury bonds from the US government linked to inflation. So they rise with the CPI or consumer price index uh, that's measured every six months for a semi-annual inflation rate. That current 9.62 composite rate is annualized. So that's a fixed rate of zero actually and a semi-annual inflation rate of 4.81. You have to hold I bonds for a minimum of one year. Uh, if you hold for less than five years, you sacrifice the most recent three months interest. The interest from I bonds is tax free at state and local levels. You will still have to pay federal tax on it uh, unless they are used to fund eligible education expenses. You've got a maximum purchase limit of $10,000 electronic per TIN or tax identification number and $5,000 paper. A couple of the most common questions I see or that I've gotten also with these, how do they compare to TIPS or Treasury Inflation Protected Securities? And also, should I wait until the rate resets again or should I go ahead and buy now? Uh, to answer that first one, so short TIPS are inarguably the closest thing to I-bonds. They're also uh, treasury bonds linked to inflation. They operate in a slightly different way. And again, I, I delved into that in that separate in-depth video I've got on I-bonds. At the current time, I think there's no reason to prefer short tips over I-bonds unless for some reason you're planning on holding for less than one year. So remember with I-bonds, you have to hold for at least a year. With, with short tips, with a fund like VTIP or STIP, or even buying tips directly from the US Treasury, uh, you could sell those within a year and be fine. Now, as for what would happen with the price volatility in that year, I can't say. There's no guarantee of a positive return there. Uh, a couple popular funds are VTIP from Vanguard and STIP from iShares for those. What would make sense though is if you, which is also a question I've gotten, is that if you've already maxed out your $10,000 electronic I-bond purchase, and if you're not purchasing $5,000 paper for that year, which you'd have to do at the, at the time of your tax return anyway, a lot of people wonder, okay, what's the next logical step for where I could put uninvested cash? That answer would be short tips. So again, short tips would be the closest thing to I-bonds and vice versa there. So if you've maxed out that I-bond purchase, which is a great problem to have, short tips would be that next logical step there. I think I-bonds are a no-brainer right now for cash that has a time horizon of one to five years, let's say. For a time horizon greater than five years, you may get a higher return from the stock market. It's impossible to say. Will this current high inflation last for the next five years? Also impossible to say, who knows? I hope, I certainly hope not, but we'll see, I guess. Um, you have to hold for at least a year, so this has to be cash that you will not need in the next 12 months. And again, just remember you you sacrifice that most recent three months interest if held for less than five years. I, I think right now it's impossible to beat 9.62% guaranteed. This is basically a risk-free asset, again, from the U.S. Treasury. They seem It seems so obvious right now that, that these are a great choice. Um, that second question of should you wait or buy now? So this hinges on what you believe about future inflation, essentially. The, the only reason you would want to wait and forego your purchase now would be if for some reason you believe that inflation will only continue to go up indefinitely or for at least the time horizon for which you want to hold these I-bonds. So if you think inflation is only going to continue to go up, then that composite rate would be expected to go up as well, and you would have an incentive to wait for those higher, higher rates. But of course, like I said, we don't know what will happen with future inflation. Uh, we would expect it to go down at some point, hopefully in the near future. But the other, the other main point here is that 9.62, 
is already extremely attractive and extremely high compared to other assets and compared to what I-bonds have paid in the past. So I think there's no reason to, to wait, um, no reason not to go ahead and purchase right now because you'll get that current composite rate, that 9.62 annualized for the next six months, regardless of when you buy. So that's, that's it for now. Just a quick reminder that um, that composite rate has gone up since I made that last uh, in-depth video on I-bonds. What do you think of I-bonds? Did you buy any? Do you own any? Uh, are you planning on buying any? Let me know in the comments and thanks for watching. Some of the links below are referral links at no additional cost to you. If you choose to make a purchase or sign up for a service after clicking through those links, I may receive a small commission. This allows me to continue producing high quality content on this channel and pays for the occasional cup of coffee. I have firsthand experience with every product or service I recommend and I recommend them because I genuinely believe they are useful.